Hell or High Water? Yeah. How did that role come to you and what drew you to it? Oh, well, it was pretty much the standard way of, you know, my agent uh, handed me a script and uh, when I read it, wow, it just knocked me out, you know. I mean, it was so, uh, it just reeked of authenticity. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy, Taylor Sheridan, who uh, also wrote uh, Sicario, yeah. I don't know if you saw mm -hmm. that. Was there any particularly tough day on the shoot? It was hot. Yeah. You know, that was always kind of hot. The hotter or cold, you kind of, it, it stimulates your acting, makes you, kind of plugs you into where the, mm. the place you're in. And, and uh, that actually kind of helps, uh, actually. So toughness. Um, I was wondering if you guys relate to this at all. This phenomenon of being so anxious, but then when it comes down to it, there's kind of almost a sleepiness. Or, mm. do, do you get that at all yeah, yeah, or no, huh? You do a little lot, bit? I take a lot of naps. You do, yeah, yeah I, I nap too. Yeah, mm. napping is, yeah. Hmm. That's yeah. the key. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of these bank robbers is going to want a gunfight, and I can dodge my retirement in a blaze of glory. Well, I've seen you shoot. Won't be much glory in it. <laughs> uh, well, I'm lucky. I got a half breed by my side to avenge me. If you can stay sober long enough, knowing how you engines like the bottle, most of my scenes were with Gil Birmingham. Yeah, great scenes. And we had a wonderful time together. Uh, you know, it's often a challenge when you're acting and you're supposed to, you know, you've just met a guy and you're supposed to give the illusion, you know, that you've known each other yeah. for years and years, you know, how to accomplish that. How do and, you accomplish well, that? Well, I think actors, you know, many actors, uh, that's a challenge for us all. So we know we got to get in and make quick. Man. Yeah. And one way to do that is through music. You know, some of you guys you know, probably play, uh, guitar or something, there's a lot of music going on in movie sets. And that's, um, that's a wonderful way uh, to you play. You listen to it or you play it together? No, you play, you play guitar, you know, because so it's, it. it's all about har you know, wow. harmonizing, singing together, making music together. Yeah. That's what making movies huh. is all about. And, you know, it's another way to look at it anyway. What do you like and not like about acting? I mean, one of the things that comes to mind is, uh, uh, you know, it's a, is this the right term, communal art form? Would that mm -hmm. be right? You know, but it's just jamming with all these different artists, you know, the actors and the directors and, uh, you know, everybody, you know, giving it their best shot. I like getting to know the guys, you know, getting as close as we can you know, that intimacy. And even if you're playing, you know, one guy's a bad guy and you're the good guy or vice versa, just to get to know each other so you can know the buttons to push and just, and also to get relaxed, you know, get relaxed. I feel the more relaxed so we can all get with each other, the best stuff can kind of bubble up through us. There's so many different approaches. You know, there's some actors, I'm not one of these guys, but I've worked with a lot of them and this works fine, you know. Please only call me by my character's name, and I really don't want to talk too much. Mm -hmm. uh, except when we're saying action, you know, like, oh, okay. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. I'm a product of nepotism. That's how I got into it. You know, my dad, you know, he loved showbiz so much. Lloyd Bridges, you know, he wanted all his kids to get into it. You know, I said, oh, but dad, I want to do, you know, music. He says, don't be ridiculous. And so I resisted it, you know, for a long time, maybe about 10 or 12 movies in, and I get a call from my agent. He's all excited, and he says, you've just been offered by John Frankenheimer, you know, a great uh, director, to um, be in The Iceman Cometh. And I said, oh, well, thank him, man, but I'm, I'm bushed. Uh, thank him. And he says, you're bushed? I said, yeah. And he hung the eggs up. Lamont Johnson, who I just worked with in this movie, he calls me up and he says, I've heard you turned down uh, John Frankenheimer. Uh, and I said, yeah, Lamont, I'm bushed. You know, he says, you're bushed, you're an ass. And he, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, I'm just gonna throw myself into this and I probably, it'll probably be the final nail in the acting coffin, you know, and I'll give it up, but I'll just throw myself into it. Eight weeks rehearsal with these old guys, you know, with Frederick March, and most of my scenes were with Robert Ryan, you know, and uh, to see their anxiety <laughs> that these guys had and the fear of, you know, doing the thing justice, and then to see their, uh, the joy that they had at the same time, and I was just kind of caught up in that and uh, realized that this fear 
and anxiety probably will never go away, and it's just, you know, it's your buddy. Hi, Jeff Bridges here. Thanks for watching. You might want to subscribe to more videos like this from Hollywood Reporter.